What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to talk about Scaf Karma in a nutshell. A lot of people are saying that Scaf Karma is currently broken. But a while ago, I was playing as a Scaf and my reputation with fans is at 0.4 and I met a Scaf boss, Tagila in Factory. I was quite surprised that he didn't attack me. So I decided to do some emos and he followed me into a secluded area and I killed him and got his loot and managed to get out of the raid. You can watch the entire process at the end of the video. But for now, let's talk about Scaf Karma. You can check out your Scaf Karma by going to trading, go to fans and check out the reputation that you have with fans. So if you're playing as a Scaf, if you kill another Scaf, you will get minus 0 0.02 points. If you kill a PMC, you will get plus 0.1 point. If you kill a traitor scav, which means a scav that kill another player or NPC, you get the same as killing a PMC, which is 0.1 point. If you kill a scav boss, you will be penalized with minus 0.2 point. It's not easy to kill a high armored, high health boss unless you have access to his head, like Tagila behind his head. You can easily headshot Rashala, Gluhar, and Sanada. However, they have bodyguards that you need to be aware of. Killa would be hard unless your scav has a good full auto weapon, for instance. Another way and by far the best method to get a reputation with fans or scav karma is by exiting or escaping via the vehicle exits by using your PMC. When the time I was playing, it gives 0.25 points per extract. I think they nerfed it down to half of something, but it's still the easiest and fastest way to get your karma up. Alright, now let's talk about perks. If you have positive karma, for now, they're doing it positive negative, which is easy to obtain. Maybe they're gonna change this in the future, we don't know. So the good positive scav will have all access to the exits on any map. For example, factory, you, instead of having just one or two extract, you have all three exits available to you, which is very convenient for your scav. The higher your scav reputation is, the lower your scav timer will be. So you have more chances to play as your scav. Another good advantage to be a good scav is that you won't be shot by AI scav on site and it's easy for you to team up with other scavs in the map. Although you can't trust people 100% if you have any good items, just good guns, it's best to hide them in your bag because some greedy people might just kill you on site just to get your loot. Alright, next if you have higher karma points, you have higher chances for scav and scav bosses to cooperate with you. For example, if you press Y key twice and do a follow emo, most likely that boss or scav will follow you around like a bodyguard. And lastly, if you're a good scav with high karma points, all scav bosses in the game will be friendly to you, which means they will not shoot you. However, I'm worried that this will lead to exploit as I was able to interact with the boss and he followed me into a secluded area where I was able to kill him by one-shotting the boss behind his head and extract with his loot. I don't know if this is intended because getting the scav karma points is not that hard. They're, they're quite easy. You just can farm the vehicle ex extract. I don't know, they should maybe lower the points that you get from exiting using a vehicle. Because people can just queue up for customs woods, for example, and just head to the exit straight away. You know? And then um, by killing a scav boss, you are penalized with just 0 0.2, minus 0 0.2 points, which is not that much to be honest. I still have plenty of karma points even I kill this boss and I can keep doing it over and over again, you know? As you can see on this clip here, I was using the high and call emote to the boss and the boss decided to follow me. Because I noticed that he's like sitting and not 
doing his own thing. So I decided to go to a secluded area and he followed me. There are a lot of players caps and AI caps out there, so I decided to call him deeper into the secluded area. And in this clip, you'll see how I kill the boss by one-shotting his head as his head armor is exposed. So maybe, I don't know, maybe BSG should make the helmet fully covered like Altin or something so we can't actually kill the boss by one-shotting him. Because I know this boss has a lot of uh, hit points, more than a thousand. So it shouldn't be like this. <laughs> Uh, that Scav can easily farm the Gila helmet gear and all that and just sell them on the flea market. It's free money. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this video. I admitted that I forgot to loot his helmet, but it's okay. I already got plenty of them and hope other Scav will plays that see the helmet lying around and get some free loot. So I think that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like guys and also that bell icon. It really helps a lot. I'll see you guys next time.